Verizon offers a total of 10 different cell phone plans to choose from. In this video, I'm explaining which ones are best and which ones to avoid. And make sure to watch to the end of the video so you don't accidentally sign up for the wrong plan. Verizon's plans fall into one of two categories, prepaid or postpaid. There are six main differences between the two types of plans. On prepaid, you pay upfront for your service, no credit check is required, your data speeds are always deprioritized, the device discounts and promotions are limited to new customers and budget phones only, there are no international add-ons, and there's a 35 activation fee that is typically waived. On Verizon Postpaid, you pay for your service either in the middle of the month or after the month. A credit check is required to sign up. Some plans do include premium data. The device discounts and promotions are awesome and available for both new and existing customers and even apply to flagship level devices. International data add-ons are available and there is a $35 activation fee, which is typically not waived. Okay, let's start with Verizon's prepaid plans. There are five options here. The prices range from $30 per month for unlimited talk and text and go up to $70 per month for unlimited data. The auto pay discount saves you $5 off month two and later. And then there's an additional loyalty discount that saves you an extra $5 off for months four through nine. And then another $5 off for months 10 and beyond. That's up to $15 per month in savings. However, even with the loyalty discount, Verizon's prepaid plans aren't worth it. You can get more data at better prices from Verizon MVNOs or prepaid carriers that use the Verizon network for coverage. Popular Verizon MVNOs include US Mobile and Visible. Here's what I mean. Verizon prepaid offers unlimited talk and text for $30. US Mobile offers it for eight. Verizon Prepaid offers 5 gigs for $35. US Mobile offers it for 15. Verizon Prepaid offers 15 gigs for $45. US Mobile offers 18 gigs for $25. Verizon Prepaid offers unlimited data for $60. Visible offers unlimited data for $25. And Verizon Prepaid offers unlimited data plus 10 gigs of hotspot data for $70. Visible gives you unlimited data with unlimited hotspot data for $25. So if you're thinking about getting Verizon prepaid, I would strongly encourage you to consider the options from US Mobile and Visible instead. You'll still get the same great coverage on the Verizon network and you'll get a better price for more data. Plus, US Mobile offers premium data with their cell phone plans when you activate on a 5G phone. This gives you better speeds and performance when the network is busy and can really make a difference on Verizon. More on that later. Now, let's talk about Verizon's postpaid plans. There are five options here. Welcome Unlimited, 5G Start, 5G Play More, 5G Do More, and 5G Get More. All of Verizon's postpaid plans include unlimited data. The five main differences are in how much premium data is included, if you get access to Verizon's 5G ultra wideband network, how much hotspot data is included, the video streaming quality, and the included perks. Let's start with the core plan features and then talk about perks. Welcome Unlimited is $65 for a single line, includes unlimited deprioritized data, no 5G ultra wideband, 480p video streaming, and no hotspot. Verizon 5G Start is $70 per month, includes unlimited deprioritized data, no 5G ultra wideband, 480p video streaming, and five gigs of high-speed hotspot data. Verizon 5G Play More is $80 per month, includes 50 gigabytes of premium data, access to Verizon's 5G ultra wideband network, 720p video streaming, and 25 gigs of hotspot data. Verizon 5G Do More is basically the same. It's $80 a month for 50 gigs of premium data, access to Verizon 5G ultra wideband, up to 720p video streaming, and 25 gigs of hotspot data. The difference between 5G Play More and 5G Do More is in the perks, which we'll cover in a moment. The last plan is 5G Get More. This is $90 per month, includes unlimited premium data, access to 5G ultra wideband, 720p video streaming, and 50 gigabytes of hotspot data. A couple of things worth mentioning here are that the video streaming quality is limited to 720p on 5G nationwide or LTE, but it can go up to 4K quality 
when you're connected to 5G ultra wideband. Also, hotspot speeds will slow down to 600 kilobits per second on 5G nationwide and three megabits per second on 5G ultra wideband after you've used your high speed allotment. All of Verizon's postpaid plans also include free data roaming in Canada and Mexico with half a gig of high speed data per day before unlimited data at slow speeds. And you also get unlimited international texting from the US to over 200 destinations. Finally, the last thing to know is the Welcome Unlimited plan is a standalone plan and requires all lines on the account to be on Welcome Unlimited. The other plans are mix and match plans, so you can choose a different plan for each line based on the features that each line needs. Okay, so those are all the core plan features. Now let's talk perks. Verizon Welcome Unlimited doesn't offer any perks, but it does currently offer a $240 e-gift card if you bring your own device. Up to 12 devices per account are eligible, and this effectively reduces the cost of the plan by $20 per line per month for your first year of service. 5G Start doesn't really offer any perks either. Instead, it offers free trials. You can get a six month free trial of Disney+, Plus, Discovery+, Plus, Apple Music, and either Apple Arcade or Google Play Pass. I think this is kind of dangerous because if you forget to cancel your free trial, you'll automatically be billed for the service. A $350 e-gift card is also available if you choose to bring your own device. Next is 5G Play More. As the name implies, this is Verizon's entertainment focused plan. It includes a free subscription to Disney Plus, Hulu, ESPN Plus, and a free subscription to either Apple Arcade or Google Play Pass. Six month free trials are also available for Discovery Plus and Apple Music. And if you bring your own device, you can get a $500 e-gift card. 5G Do More is Verizon's business focused plan. It includes up to a 50% off discount on a smartwatch, tablet, or hotspot plan, which is up to $20 per month in savings. You also get one free travel pass day per month, which gives you half a gig of high-speed data in over 180 supported international destinations. What's cool is if you don't use your travel pass day, you can actually keep it and accumulate up to 12 days per year. 5G Do More also includes 600 gigabytes of free Verizon cloud storage. And you get six month free trials of Disney+, Plus, Discovery+, Plus, Apple Arcade, or Google Play Pass, and Apple Music. This plan is also eligible for that $500 e-gift card credit if you bring your own device. The final plan is 5G Get More. This combines the perks of Play More and Do More into a single plan. You get Disney+, Plus, Hulu, ESPN+, Plus, Apple Arcade, or Google Play Pass, 50% off a smartwatch, tablet, or hotspot plan, one free travel pass day per month, and 600 gigabytes of Verizon cloud storage. 5G Get More also adds in a free subscription to Apple Music as opposed to the previous six month free trials. Finally, a six month free trial is still available for Discovery Plus, and you can still get that $500 e-gift card if you bring your own device. And there is one more thing we need to talk about in terms of perks, the Verizon home internet discounts. Verizon offers a home internet discount on all of their cell phone plans. Here's how it works. If you're an existing wireless customer and you sign up for Verizon 5G home internet, you save $10 a month with Welcome Unlimited and 5G Start and 50% off with 5G Play More, Do More, and Get More. That's up to $35 per month in savings if you sign up for the 5G Home Plus plan. And if you're an existing Verizon Wireless customer and you sign up for Fios, you again get $10 off with Welcome Unlimited and 5G Start, and now you save $25 per month with the premium plans. These discounts apply to all Fios plans. What's interesting is if you're an existing Fios customer and you sign up for the mobile service, then the discounts are different. All mobile plans give you $5 off per line per month for all Fios plans. And if you're on the Fios Gigabit plan and you sign up for one of the premium cell phone plans, then you'll get $10 off per line per month on your bill. For one or two line accounts, it's actually better to get the mobile service first and then sign up for 5G Home or Verizon Fios. However, if you have three, four, or even five lines, then it's better to get Verizon Fios first and then sign up for the mobile service. You could save yourself an extra $300 per year. So now that we've looked at the core plan features and all of the perks and discounts, which of these plans is actually the best 
and which one should you avoid? I'll start off with the one plan you should definitely avoid, Verizon Welcome Unlimited. In all scenarios, it's better to go with a different plan. Single line users are better off going with US Mobile, Visible, or Xfinity Mobile for an unlimited data plan on the Verizon network. And families are better off going with Verizon's more premium plans. Why is this? Well, the big reason is Welcome Unlimited is not eligible for the device trade-in deals or promotions. These discounts typically save you about $800 off the cost of a new phone about once every three years. When you factor in the cost of upgrading your device every three years, where you're paying full price on Welcome Unlimited and getting a free phone on the premium plans, then the net monthly cost of the premium plans actually becomes cheaper in the long run. But are the premium plans themselves actually worth it? For single line users, I still think you're better off going with US Mobile, Visible, or Xfinity Mobile as your best option. The cheaper plans will end up saving you more money in the long run, even if you factor in the $800 off device promotions. But if you've got a family of three or four lines, then the premium plans are absolutely worth it. The question is, which premium plan do you choose? I think for most people, the best overall option will be 5G Play More. I think it's the best combination of perks, features, and price. I believe more people will enjoy the free streaming services of Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus, along with Apple Arcade or Google Play Pass, than they will the more business-focused perks of the 5G Do More plan. The only way 5G Do More really makes sense is if you do want to add a tablet or hotspot line to your account. Then you would end up saving an extra $10 to $20 per month, which I think is worth it. And 5G Get More is only worth it if you want the Apple Music perk. Otherwise, I think you're better off mixing and matching the 5G Play More and Do More plans on a single account to give each line the perks they need. I'm Stetson, and my goal is to help as many people as possible save money on their cell phone bill. Click the like button if you found this video helpful and share this video with one friend so they don't make the wrong choice when they're picking a Verizon plan. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.